Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You are joining me in my nursery. Uh, this is my favorite place in my whole house. Shout out to my cousin Tolly for decorating it because I'm not skilled like that. I'll have to do like a nursery tour. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you like this video. And if you have any questions, uh, be sure to comment in the comment section of the video. Also subscribe to my channel if you'd like notifications about my videos that I post. Uh, anyway, today I am going to be going through the cloth diapers that I use. Uh, I have a couple different brands. Um, some I bought myself, some I got as gifts for like my baby shower and some I've received even since my daughter's been born. So um, first up, we'll go with the ones that I like the least. Uh, now that being said, I still use all of these diapers because I don't wanna spend more money on more diapers. <laughs> so I use all of these regularly they're in my rotation so um the first ones that i have are these uh kawaii i think that's how you say it k-a-w-a-i-i -I, baby diapers and i received these um maybe like a month ago uh they're pretty cute um i have all of them snapped to the appropriate size but there's two different types uh this one is a little bit more stiff and then this one is a little bit softer i think this one's supposed to be like an overnight diaper um, I use them day or night. So this one I don't like as much. The stiff one I don't like as much because it's kind of harder to get between her legs and it just doesn't seem to be quite as comfortable. Uh, another thing I don't like about these diapers specifically is that the snaps come apart really easily. So, you know, whenever I'm trying to snap it on my daughter, if she's like wiggling around a lot, sometimes the snaps will come undone, which, well, for obvious reasons, that could be a problem, <laughs> especially as she gets older. And if the snaps come undone on the side, we could end up with the diaper on the floor. So um, that I'm not a huge fan of. I also don't like the um, hole where you stuff your insert. It just is kind of like bulky and there's two layers here, one that kind of tucks in and then one that comes over. And you can see there's a lot of fabric there and I just don't feel like that's probably very comfortable and it's a little cumbersome to stuff the inserts in. So all in all, these diapers are okay. I don't love them. I saw they're available on Amazon. So it looks like for six of them, you can buy them for $33.95 with $9.99 shipping. There's an 18 pack for $65, 20 pack for $80. Um, it doesn't look like any of those are prime. Um, they're not super expensive, which is a good thing about them. And the inside is really super soft on both of them. It's like a fleece material, I think. Uh, this other one, the one that's a little bit more pliable, malleable, bendable, I have the same issues with it. It's just easier to kind of bunch than this more stiff one. Probably the least favorite of the ones that I have. Uh, but like I said, I still use them. So these, the next ones are Bum Genius. And I know a lot of people love Bum Genius. They are, you know, reasonably good diapers, but there's a couple things about them that I don't like. Obviously they come in cute little patterns. This one has polka dots. This is a green one, but the snaps are kind of hard to get apart, which whenever you're trying to change a baby and you're trying to go fast, if they're irritated, that can be kind of cumbersome. And they sort of like spin around, which makes them difficult to get apart to. The inside, it's soft. It's like even softer than the Kawaii Baby one. So that is really nice because I'm sure that's more comfortable. On this one, it only has two snaps here uh, compared to the other diapers that I have, the Kawaii Babies and the Alva Baby and the Baby Goal. So I don't love that because I just don't feel like I can get it, like the, the leg section around quite as tight as I can uh, with the other diapers. Another thing I don't like about these, again, they have this like bulky section to stuff the insert in. There's fabric here. Now it's not quite as thick as the Kawhi Baby one. You know, as far as that's concerned, it's, it, it's not quite as uh, uncomfortable feeling, but it's still kind of cumbersome to stuff the insert in there. And I don't really like all this extra fabric. So Bum Genius, not my favorite. They're okay, still use them but not my favorite, so. And this is the same, they're both the same, they're just different uh, patterns, so. There's those. The next ones, the last two that I'm gonna go through, they're pretty much the same. I'm fairly certain they're probably from like the same ma manufacturer because they're both essentially the same except for the tag. So uh, Baby Goal 
is one of them. You can see the little tag here. And then Alva Baby is the other one. The tags even look similar. It's just like the logo. The logo is different. So uh, with these, I, I really like both of these. These are my favorite, the Alva Baby and the Bum, or Baby Goal. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the Bum Genius ones, they're really expensive. They're like, I think 16 or $17 for one diaper, which is a lot of money whenever you have to buy, you know, 35, 40 diapers or however many you, know, you decide that you need. I actually got these as a gift for my baby shower and so I just used them, but I don't think I could justify the price of the Bum Genius ones because the Alva Baby and the Baby Goal are around $40, I think, right now on Amazon for six of them and you get 12 inserts. So they're a really good deal and they are really good diapers. So on the inside, it's pretty soft. It's a little bit less bulky than the Kawhi Baby, but not quite as thin as the Bum Genius ones. It's kind of right in the middle. It's still soft. I think it's still comfortable for my daughter. So uh, I don't have any complaints about that. I really like the, um, hole where you stuff the inserts. It's got elastic and there's no extra fabric. So I really like that about these. They seem to fit my daughter really well. There's three snaps, as you can see, uh, that go around her. And then you have, you know, the top and the bottom row and then this adjustable section. The buttons on these are easy to pull apart, but not so easy to pull apart that your kid could get them apart. So, um, I really like the buttons on those. Um, they have super, super cute patterns. This one has little bumblebees on it. Um, this has little flowers. Um, this one has little flowers too. And then I think this is my favorite one of all. It says be strong and it's got an elephant. I just can't wait until she's like running. Well, I can wait. I don't want her to grow up. She's still my little baby, but I'm excited to like see her bouncing around in our house in her little cloth diapers. I think that'll just be the cutest thing ever. So, oh, another thing that I wanted to go through was uh, cloth wipes. So if you are cloth diapering, I recommend that you just use cloth wipes because it's really, it doesn't require any well, much more work to wash them because you can just throw them in with your diapers and your inserts. And uh, then you just throw them in the dryer with your inserts. Um, so if you wanna know more about how I wash my diapers, I'll leave a link in the description box below for the video that I made about washing my diapers, my inserts, and my cloth wipes. But um, I can also leave some links of wipes that I recommend. I use the muslin wipes. Um, the ones with the uh, edging sewn seem to hold up the best, but honestly, they're all pretty much the same. So I'll put some links of the ones that I use in the description bar. But otherwise, those are the diapers I use. Uh, like I said, my favorite are the Alva Baby and the Baby Goal. Uh, they're really economical. They seem to be really good diapers and they're you know, pretty easy to wash. They've held their quality up through multiple washes. So uh, if you have any questions about anything that I went through in this video, be sure to leave a comment in the, in the comment section below. And like I said at the beginning, be sure to subscribe to my channel for notifications about videos that I am posting. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope this information was useful to you. Thanks for watching.